Welcome back to Express Sports on yet another beautiful Wednesday morning. In this bulletin, we'll take a look at the Proteas' disappointing exit of the T20 World Cup, as well as looking back at some surfing that took place over the weekend. But first, to Sri Lanka we must go. The Proteas have failed to qualify for the semi-finals of the ICC World 2020 tournament when they lost their final Super 8 match against India yesterday. South Africa won the toss and elected to field, restricting the Indians to 152 for 6 after 20 overs. In reply, the South Africans lost a talismanic informer batsman Hashim Amla for a duck. And despite the efforts of Fath Duplessis, who came in at 4 to make 65 or 38, it seems the rest of the side chose to follow in Amla's footsteps to the pavilion without making a significant dent on the scoreline. Gary Kirsten's men now have the unfortunate record of not being being able to win a single match in the Super 8, even if they were the toughest, even if they were in the toughest group. They've now been kicked out of the competition at this stage for the third time in five years, which will not do anything to lift the chokers tag. Unlucky lads, but we do support them 100% of the way. The Springboks have been dealt a major blow ahead of the final rugby championship match against New Zealand this weekend when team doctor Craig Roberts confirmed that centre Franz Stain would be out for the rest of the season due to injury. Stain is scheduled to undergo surgery on his ankle later this week. And if that wasn't enough, fly half Johan Huersen is still carrying a bruised heel injury for the match against the defending world champions. Although this won't mean a rare start for Lions fly half Alton Yankees, it does mean kicking duties will be left to Ruan Pinar, who missed more than half of his spot kicks in the victory against Australia this past weekend. The New Zealanders are not bothered though, targeting our number 10's defence as a possible way through the block line in an effort for them to record what would be an impressive clean sweep of the inaugural rugby championships this weekend. And finally, there was some awesome surfing action out at Musenberg for the 5th edition of the Boss Earth Wave Festival over the last weekend. The festival, which raises awareness of global warming, also hosts some pretty tough surfing competition. In between the fun activities, there are uh, ideal things for the entire family to enjoy. And congratulations to William Wallace, who took first place in the Western Province Longboard Finals on Sunday. Alfonso Peters, Thomas King, John De Castro coming in second, third, and fourth respectively. The festival culminates with an incredible attempt to break the world record for the most surfers on a wave at the same time. Unfortunately, this year the folks out in Musenberg weren't, weren't able to top their own impressive Guinness world record of over 100 surfers on the same wave. Well, that's it for the sports. We'll be back again tomorrow with G Sport with the team from Good Hope FM and our preview show on Friday to look at all the best in the weekend action.